Oh no! What just happened? I just broke my cup. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's my measuring cup. <laughs> oh, because uh, it's freaking beanie. Uh, <laughs> this is a public land hunting, fishing, kind of backpacking trip. Uh, the crazy part is we're here. <laughs> yeah, that is the crazy part. Like it actually works. It's a. It's been a long day. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of stuff's happened today. Two and a quarter. A lot now? of stuff hasn't happened today. Yeah. Um, a lot of stuff almost happened today. A lot of stuff almost happened. So yeah, let's start. Let's start at the top, I guess. Um, so this morning we got up at about five uh, fifteen. And we left from out of here at like 5.45. It was early and cold. It was very cold. And windy. Oh my gosh, it was windy. Yeah. Good morning. <coughs> it's the morning of the 21st <coughs> at like 5.30. <laughs> and we are getting ready to head into our first sit of the trip. Any <laughs> thoughts? rained all night long it was windy uh, I didn't get cold I got blasted <laughs> <laughs> Vince walked up to my head this morning and goes well that sucked <laughs> <laughs> I'm optimistic about the day because manifest Manifest. Manifest destiny. <laughs> no, not no. manifest destiny. What's that? <laughs> the, the whole different thing, but we'll talk about that Manifesting a little bit. your destiny? Well, you can you can manifest your destiny, but manifest destiny has caused a lot of problems in the past. But Okay, so not that, just manifest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we went to the same place and sat in the same tree together, and it was real cute. It was, I enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. I hadn't sat in the same tree with someone. I've hunted with Anna uh, in the past couple years, but that was in a box. I hadn't been in the same tree with somebody since hunting with Dad when yeah. I was a kid. We had some good giggles. Had some good giggles. Um, around like, um, wait, give me one too then. Um, thank you. We didn't see jack shit. <laughs> yeah, we didn't see anything for the first, so we got into the stand, all settled it's by 6.30, and, um, we stayed in the stand, um, uh, until about 10, no, it was 9.40 when we were like, should we get out, should we get down? Because it was like it, the wind had gotten even worse to the point where we could barely each other, hear each other talk next to each other. All right, we're calling it for the morning. No luck. Uh, lots of wind. It's a beautiful morning though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but no deer in sight. And they were all looked like past the tree. Well, no, I had dropped my backpack out of the stand. Yeah, that with had, everything it, it in it. It didn't have much in it, but it had some stuff in it. I dropped that out of the tree. Like I was about, I had loosened my, my tether rope. I was about to go down and then I look up and see a deer. And then another deer running like 30 yards in front of us. And I go, Bates deer, 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 deer. So I would get that, Bates has to like get the camera up. Um, he gets the camera up and starts filming and they start coming right at us. but they come up and they run right under our stand. And they're like booking it. Like not like sprinting, fast. but like they're running. I never heard that. Yeah. Everything happened, this all happened within the span of 25 seconds. So it was just a lot going on in a short period of time. Have you 
thoughts after the fact. Not really. Just, it wasn't right. It would have been dumb to rush a shot there. She really never gave me a shot. And then she was never broadside, so. It's a good spot. Um, so, missed the opportunity there, but it's okay. I'm at peace with it now. Um, but <laughs> we were so damn close. That was so close. Because of this interaction with deer and this, this encounter, I feel like the trip's already a success. Absolutely. So, it would have been a success without it, I think. But it was, I mean, honestly, the fact I didn't is know we're what doing to it, you know? Yeah. The fact that we got within killing distance of a deer in the mountains of Pisgah on public yeah, land. It's pretty just, cool. That's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. We left the stand and we immediately went fly fishing. Which was a massive success for me. It, it was a huge success for all. It was not a success for me. I tore them up. I caught like within like 45 minutes I caught like six or seven. Currently fishing this little branch off the Davidson River. And I just hooked into a nice, pretty rainbow trout on the fly rod. Beautiful stuff. Hard to beat. I, however, got three on the line and managed to not pull any of them in. They all got off. And I just looked out and caught myself a little tiny brown trout on a nymph. It's just a little micro rainbow. Caught him on a little stimulator dry fly. Just a pretty fish. But uh, I did catch a crawfish on the fly line. Well, this isn't really what I was going for, but crawfish on the fly rod. How about that one? So who's Which really was... who's really winning? Here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> suck it. Yeah. The river's just beautiful here. Like all of the rivers in Pisgah, even like the little creeks that are just like offshoots that aren't even named anything on the map. That's what you were fishing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was beautiful. So yeah, we did that and then we um, came back, got ready again and went back out into the woods. All right, Saturday afternoon, um, about to hit the woods again. Um, I don't know what time it is, probably three o'clock. About to get in the places again tonight. Nope, oh, there's baits. Uh, tonight. I look so very short in this. <laughs> tonight, I'm going back to the saddle place where we had some action this morning. Bates is going to the bottom shelf, which is just a, a, a step down, probably 400 yards away from the top shelf where I'm going to be at. So he's going to be sitting on the ground. I'm going to be back in the saddle. Uh, we're thinking if we cover some more ground, we'll have some more opportunity. But we'll keep you all updated. I'm about to go in the woods right here. <laughs> <laughs> Mace is going to continue up, so we'll talk to y'all soon. I went to the bottom shelf and sat on the ground. Very miserable. <laughs> Not fun. Um, Alright, so I am where I'm going to be for the evening. Leaning up against this little dead tree. I sat up against the tree that had a bunch of mushrooms on it, which was cool, and it's one of the reasons why I chose it, was because I like the mushrooms. Um, but the mushrooms were so wet, <laughs> <laughs> and so they soaked through my back. Oh, gross. And um, Kind of slimy too, yeah? Yeah, yeah. slimy. But we were, I was close enough to raw, I was far enough away to where I couldn't see him. But I was close enough to where whenever he used the grunt call, I could hear him. How'd it sound? I mean, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, did it sound good? <laughs> did I do a good job? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sounded, it sounded good, I think. Good. Yeah, I was back on the top shelf in the saddle. Um, not a whole lot to document. I had a fantastic sit. I was very comfortable. Uh, it was, it's just beautiful out here. Didn't see anything. Saw a squirrel. Um, two hunters. 
walked yeah. up on me. <laughs> yeah, I his think first they public were, land yeah. people encounter. I think they were squirrel hunting because they were walking around at 5 p.m. <laughs> talking very loudly. So I would, be, I, would, I would hope that they weren't thinking that they were deer hunting. <laughs> That being said, I was man trying to manifest like a motherfucker tonight, and nothing happened. <laughs> I really thought one was gonna walk out right in dark. Yeah, I had a feeling, but I was pretty miserable. I was freezing cold the whole time. We'll give it one more shot in the morning. All right. <laughs> Tomorrow's plan, right now, is Rawl's gonna go back to. Is this actual order? I th I think so. Unless you do you want me to not say it in in case. I don't care what you're doing. Yeah, I think Rawl's gonna go back. Rawl left his bow and the um the stand out there, so he's gonna return there and hunt in the morning. And I think I'm gonna play hooky and uh, go see if I can catch some actual trout this time in the morning before we uh, pack up and head out tomorrow afternoon. What other notes do you have? Um, it's been a solid day. It has been a solid day. I was kind of sad for a while. <laughs> I was upset that we didn't kill those deer. But we're cool now. Try public land stuff sometime, if you haven't before. <laughs> it's been a good time. Yeah. Um, I am ready for a piping hot fast food meal. <laughs> Um, you're probably, you can watch this video on YouTube of us doing this recap video. You can listen to it on Spotify. Did you just do it again? <laughs> no way. What? Stop doing that. All right, y'all. Go outside. Go outside. Talk to you later. Oh, shit. How do I turn this off? Oh, shit. Trees kept me honest.